Thank you very much, and thank you to both Reed Corporate and Mining News for the chance to present today. Um, it's much appreciated, and it's great to see an audience full of uh, eager investors and interested parties. Um, I'll allow you to read your important disclosures at your leisure. Um, just a quick snapshot on Phoenix and why people should look at investing in Phoenix. We're a, we're a new high-grade iron ore miner, um, which has managed to hit its targets in its first three quarters of, uh, of operating life. Uh, we've already mined a million tonnes of ore, uh, and we've shipped 841,800 tonnes of premium iron ore sold. We're not a big producer. We only produce at about 1.25 million tonnes per annum. But if you're not going to have size in your favour, you've got to have something going for you, and, and we've clearly got grade. And if you've seen already, our average grade of product sold is 63% project to date, and this is ahead of expectations. In fact, the ore body has a characteristic where the grade improves with depth, and uh, our first year pro uh, projection was for the grade to be slightly less than 62%. So to, to get that extra 1% FE, uh, we're currently producing 65% lump product and 62% fines product. So both of those products um, receive a premium to the market. So there's a whole plethora of uh, low grade producers around um, and they uh, suffer discounts whereas uh, we get the benefit of the premiums. We've got, we had net cash as of 30th of September of $93 million. We generated operating cash flow in the first seven and a half months of life as an iron ore producer of $91 million, including operating, net up operating cash flow of $25 million in the September quarter, which wasn't as good as the June quarter where we produced, where we generated $42 million. Audited net profit, as Kate mentioned, was $49 million for, the, for uh, fiscal 21, which is equivalent to 10.3 cents per share. Not bad on, a, on uh, less than six months of operating profit. We were fortunate enough to uh, reward our, share, uh, our loyal shareholders by paying a maiden dividend of five and a quarter cents per share, fully franked. It was declared um, with our fiscal year result and paid on the 5th October. The other astute thing we did is we, um, in July of this year, when the iron ore prices were well in to the 200 uh, US dollars per tonne, we as a board decided to hedge some of our production. So we hedged 45% uh, of our production at the equivalent of $230 Australian per drymetric tonne. And those hedges kick in this month and span for the next 12 months and had a, uh, had a mark to mark value of $42 million. Not bad addition of value in a three month space of time. Our corporate structure, we've got 472 million shares on issue. We have some performance shares which will vest over certain um, milestones. 30 million of those will vest sometime in December this year when we reach a million dry metric tonnes of production. They go to the original vendors. Our market cap is modest at $111 million. Uh, our net cash after paying the dividend of $24.8 million is still $68.2 million. Um, and our enterprise value is $42.8 million, which almost matches what our mark to market of our hedge book is, so go figure. Um, production at a, at a glance, our September quarter, we shipped 341,000 tonnes of material, uh, better than the June quarter. Uh, the average uh, plat's 62% price was only uh, slightly less than 163 US for the quarter, as opposed to 200 in the, in the June quarter. The thing, uh, and we like to try uh, say things straight. Um, obviously, the iron ore price is now 126 uh, as of uh, last night. Um, and what you've seen in that other line there is our the freight price keeps on going up. So we are getting squeezed on margin. So thankfully, we've got our hedge book and we are still profitable at these levels by, uh, by quite a bit. Um, but freight is, is a worry because, as, you, as people would know, the um, Platt's 62% reference price is delivered into China. Uh, we are, uh, as I mentioned before, we've mined over a million tonnes of product. We've crushed and screened close to a million tonnes of product. We've hauled uh, 880 odd thousand tonnes 
down from uh, our project to the Port of Geraldton, and we've shipped 841. Our costs are by no means um, low, but that's because it only cost us $16 million to build this project, and we did it in a contractor model where everything, uh, site establishment, everything like that was paid for by the contractor. So it's a, it was a model that allowed us to turn on and off this project depending on the iron ore price. Little did we know that we would have such a fantastic start, um, not only from an operational point of view, but also from an iron ore price point of view. But our cash costs are basically very real and very straightforward. They're highly variable. There's not a lot of fixed component in there and they, they are, they're currently averaging project to, to date 88 Australian dollars per, um, per tonne of shipped product, FOB. What we can control as far as cost base, we've controlled pretty well. Um, there's a couple of cost structures such as royalties and marketing fees, which are percentage of uh, realised uh, iron ore price derived, so they're a lot higher than budget. The interesting thing about our feasibility study in year one was that um, it showed that we made no cash flow in year one based on our very modest assumptions of uh, 78 US dollars of iron ore, but we were still profitable in later years because as I mentioned before, the grade increases with depth and therefore the premium expands and, um, and uh, other factors come into play. So we've controlled our costs pretty well and you can see what our margins are and what they have been. Uh, with the green lines there showing solid margins, but less in September than they were in, uh, in June. Quick snapshot of our project, very simple project. Uh, mining is basically one excavator and three trucks. You can see that beautiful black band of, uh, of material in, in, the, in the face of uh, the ore there. It's beautiful ore, it's uh, been hydrothermically altered which gives it uh, its, uh, its high-grade tenor. Um, it's a very simple ore body, as you see. You've got uh, weathered basalt on both flanks and a nice black material, which in the middle of that body runs, you know, some of the phenomenal grades, almost pure hematite, 68% um, FE in places. Um, though we're not a relatively small project, we do have a decent mine life. There's no, um, we've got uh, still, 60 years of mine life left, and you can see those marvellous grades, the mineral resource at 64.4% iron, and uh, the ore reserves at 64.1%. We only developed the project September last year. We're in production December. We had our first ship out in February. We hit steady state in March, and we've, we've harvested cash ever since. There's, there's uh, up where that star is, is where our project is in the world ranges region of WA, just north of Kew. Um, it's, uh, it's a fair hike to Geraldton, it's about 485 k's. It's all on Bitumen Road. We bought brand new um, uh, road trains and trailers through a trucking joint venture which we established with a, uh, with, um, a, a private party where it's 50-50. Um, we secured pork capacity which is very important. We, we have a, uh, we have a four-year um, port allocation with two two-year options at our election. So we've got eight years of, uh, of port export allocation there. And we've got a great no road network backed by, um, by road user agreements with the, with the local shires. So they're very solid. We control our supply chain from, from mine to port. We actually own our port facilities. We bought those from Absolute Song, about a million dollars. We paid uh, for the port facilities there, which have a replacement value of probably 25 million. I hadn't worked for six years. A lot of other proponents that were looking to buy them thought it was gonna cost them multi-million dollars to fix up, to, to get them recommissioned. We did it for 400 grand. We, uh, on a ESG point of view, we, we spend a lot of time on, on trying to generate opportunities. Where the, where the world ranges are, there are significant heritage um, values uh, up there. There's, there's uh, the oldest mine in the world, the Wilgie Meyer mine, uh, which is only three kilometres from our project. There's a smaller thing called Little Wilgie Meyer, which is actually on our tenement, which we exercised from our tenement, and we actually built a, uh, a, a fence around we, we, uh, we've generated over 170 full-time jobs there. 
Um, Phoenix itself has about 18 employees, of which 40% are Indigenous. We're very proud of that. We've started um, traineeships, uh, and that photo there is, uh, is a 19-year-old Wadri, um, Wadri Yamaji guy who works at our port. Um, who was unemployed when, he, uh, when we uh, brought him in and we trained him up and he, I think uh, that photo shows that we're both very proud of, uh, of being um, out in the Phoenix uh, shed there at, um, at Geraldton Port. We also believe in prioritising local businesses. Um, we've got service provision contracts with Midwest businesses there. A lot of them are just family owned businesses that we've helped. Champion Bay Electrical that do our maintenance um, at the port um, had six employees when, they, when we engaged with them. They now have about 14. Um, all of them, all that growth has been um, due to us giving them a go and them giving us a go. We also um, own 50% of the haulage contract, as I've said before, and Phoenix New Hall employ more than 80 people, and the vast majority are in the Geraldton region, so it brings wealth into the Geraldton region. Very simply put, uh, Phoenix Resources is uh, an Australian high-grade iron ore miner. We've got the second highest-grade resource in the whole of Australia, if not the Southern Hemisphere. We're producing now um, at better than expectations. We attract market premiums for our product, so we produce high-grade material. Uh, we generate solid operating cash flows. We're very uh, committed to returning surplus cash to our shareholders. We've done that already after only seven and a half months of, of production by delivering a, a fully frank dividend. We, we intend to continue to do that while also maintaining a solid balance sheet so we can we can look at operational flexibilities and maybe even growth. And of course, you don't get a better um, jurisdiction than Western Australia, particularly for iron ore. And um, you know, uh, I think we're, we're very fortunate to have the asset that we have at the moment. Just a few little pictures while I've got some time. There's a, a very simple operation, drilling, blasting, digging. We do everything possible to generate as much power from solar as we do. That solar panel runs our, our way bridge for our, uh, for our uh, trucking um, fleet. Um, obviously, that screen deck's fully loaded, full of beautiful lump product um, that is second to none as far as FE grade running. We're regularly getting um, FE grades of 65% for our lump product. Um, a brand new trucks and trailers, which was one of the initiatives that we brought in through that joint venture arrangement, which I talked about. A lot of the guys that are operating in this region don't have the luxury of a six and a half year mine life. They, weren't, they didn't have the luxury of having new equipment being purchased. It's really helped us to retain our drivers uh, and to recruit those drivers when they're driving around beautiful, shiny blue trucks and trailers. And lastly, at the port, um, uh, we've recently started an Aboriginal business, an Indigenous business, which we are sponsoring at the moment. We're um, called Swartz Brothers. There's four young uh, uh, Aboriginal boys based in Geraldton that have come over and we've started a company called Swartz Brothers, which we, uh, Phoenix, will retain a minority interest in, and they do all our shiploading. Um, we're buying them brand new front end loaders, which we'll sell to them for, uh, for a peppercorn after three years to give them a, a chance of creating a real business. And um, there's a, one of our beautiful ships getting loaded um, with iron ore off to, uh, off to Kaching, to the bank, um, in not too distant future. Uh, uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, Phoenix is a great story. Um, we're really proud of what we do. We not only have we harvested cash, we've done it in a responsible manner, and we'll continue to do that. Um, and hopefully next year I'll be here telling you uh, more stories. Thank you.